We're looking for a range in the in data of length two elements or more that sums up to the invalid value from part one. And the answer to part two is the mean value plus the max value in this range. If you like my videos, feel free to do nothing. Just grab a cup of coffee and enjoy. We start by creating the Xcode project, copies the code from the part one, and then we start modifying it for part two. And what I do is I create a processor two class with the same layout at, as the processor one with an operator plus plus that uh, performs the execution, consumes one input from the input stream, and pushes it back to a history vector here. So at this moment, point in time, I for some reason thought that I should push data into a history buffer and then define a high iterator and a low iterator to define the range within that history. Uh, it turns out this was overcomplicated. So anywho, I strive on and then I use accumulate to accumulate the sum over this range which of course also is unnecessary because each time you extend the range or, or contract the range, you can just add or subtract the number you add or remove. So you don't have to do the whole accumulate over the whole range over and over again. Anywho, I discover that in a moment. For now, this is what we're going for. And here I update the history buffer depending on whether I'm overflowing or not. That is if the last checked sum is larger than the number then of course I shorten it. So here I go for reducing this history to the range and skip all this uh, iterator start and stop rubbish. So I now add the answer function. So the answer to part two here is to take the mean element and the max element of the found range and just sum them together and return that as the answer. So that was the helper function for that. Um, now I add some logging because as you can see my logic doesn't work. The operator plus plus function just stops doing anything. And spoiler alert, the problem here is that I'm trying to read the input data into a C++ standard int and that's not sufficient. I need a larger int and I think somewhere in my mind I know this is the problem but I just can't bother with... I don't know. I, this reflects something in my programming skills that I need to be to um, get on top of because I don't want to do it until I, I'm absolutely sure there isn't any logical problem here. And it takes me a little while. I'm still struggling to understand why I can't even get through the whole data input stream. It stops in the middle, just give up. And it's the streaming operator that fails. But I'm soon going to figure it out. It takes me a while. I'm adding all this logging and <laughs> trying my very best to not having to change the processing type. Still more logging, more logging, and more logging. But finally, here I do it. You see, I changed the type, processing type, to an int 64, so 64 bits. And now I get through all the data, that's good. And I still have a logical error in my processing logic. So I add some more logging. 
So I start checking how the range grows and shrinks. And I'm getting there. So there I shortened the input data just to check my logic. So should have done that from the beginning, of course. So now I'm checking for the sum 99. And oh, there I, I fixed that. And now I take the answer. The problem here is I have a logging error. So that 17 you see at the beginning of that number. That was actually the number of elements in the range. And the following digits was the, was the correct answer. So, yeah. That's the life of a programmer if you don't care for. So here I'm actually chasing a ghost. Uh, and I finally... Uh, I finally go down the route of of uh, logging this in such a format that I can create a comma separated file and then I open it in Apple numbers to to second guess my own computing so here I create a file and here I read the file into numbers and here I sum them and I see that the sum is actually the one I'm looking for so that's correct and now I take the mean value and the max value and I sum them up and there's that there you have the answer I, I've had the answer all the time you can see it down there in the corner I'm still not believing it because I can't remember what the error was I'm really really checking yeah that is the answer so now I go for it uh, still not sure what went wrong the first time but of course this is the right answer so yeah, thank you for watching. See you next time. If you like my videos, feel free to do nothing. Just grab a cup of coffee and enjoy.